Swamps are forested, low, spongy land generally saturated with water and covered with trees and aquatic plants. Plus, they're nesting and breeding grounds for birds and other animals. About 6% of Earth's surface is covered by swamps. So, we shouldn't be too surprised some pretty cool stuff turns up in them. And it's a lot weirder than you could ever imagine. Enough to make us even more interested and perhaps a little more afraid. 15 Strangest Things Recently Discovered in Swamps Devastating Sinkholes A sinkhole is exactly as it sounds, a cavity that opens up in the ground, especially in limestone bedrock, caused by water erosion and providing a route for surface water to disappear. And where there's limestone bedrock anywhere in the world, sinkholes can happen, just like here in Louisiana. And the footage is dramatic. The underwater sinkhole devours a small grove of trees in this swamp, and emergency workers were filming on the scene when the activity began. The power of the sinkhole can be seen as it completely swallows up these 40-foot-tall cypress trees. As the water swirled, the trees began to slip below the surface until they're completely consumed, and then pretty much everything else starts coming with it. The hole first came to the attention of authorities a week before this event when residents noticed bubbles in the water of the southern Louisiana bayou, believed to have been created when an underground salt dome cavern collapsed earlier in the month. It quickly grew to 324 feet in diameter and reached as deep as 422 feet, causing major evacuations in the area. Besides that, authorities had even more concerns, worried that the hole may be releasing liquid butane, aka lighter fluid. It becomes extremely flammable upon release. Not good. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. If you love a good ghost story, you'll love this. It's gonna sound like a horror movie in the making. The infamous black-eyed girl of Canuck Chase in England has been talked about for decades because she apparently stalks the swamps of this region. Actually, others claim that the black-eyed girl makes appearances all over the world, and it appears we have captured her in this image at an awkward moment. A psychic claimed to have come face to face with the mysterious swamp entity and revealed the poor girl was most likely the victim of a diphtheria outbreak in the 1800s causing victims to suffer paralysis in their eyes, making their sockets appear sunken and black. But are these people alive? Are we looking at a ghost? Surely it can't be that. What sayeth you? Maybe it's just an elaborate prank, a scary one at that. And what would you do if you came across this night in a swamp? Leave a comment and use the hashtag sweet topic when you do. Bog butter. Everything's better with a little butter, right? Just not this butter. A man found a 22-pound chunk of butter in an Irish peat bog. It's believed to be over 2,000 years old. And believe it or not, it's still edible. Finding buried treasure is a dream for some people, treasure chests overflowing with gold, but gargantuan lumps of ancient butter? That's rather unusual. That's exactly what this Irishman discovered. Bog butter is pretty much what you think, butter made from cow's milk that's been buried in a bog and after thousands of years, it often has the consistency of cheese. The gentleman was a turf cutter, meaning he harvested peat, a type of moss, from bogs to later burn for warmth during the cold winter months. He was chopping turf at the bog when he came across the creamy treasure. It's actually not that uncommon of a find for turf cutters in Ireland. A 3,000-year-old, 3-foot-wide barrel stuffed with bog butter was found in 2009. Even more shocking, turf cutters found a 5,000-year-old wooden keg containing butter in 2013. It's usually found as a whitish, solid mass of fatty material with a distinctive, pungent, and slightly offensive smell. The bogs, which are essentially cold water swamps, and their native peat do a fine job keeping food fresh. A natural refrigerator. Abandoned Disney Park this place was once a sparkling jewel of Disney World's crown, the first water park the company ever built and perhaps the first themed water park in the world. Who doesn't love a water slide? It was called River County. Disney wanted to give the impression that guests were actually swimming in the lake and created a huge artificial mountain to suck up lake water, filter it, then empty it down the park slides. This unique place, located on the shores of Bay Lake in Orlando, Florida, first opened in 1976 but closed abruptly in 2001. Now look at it. 
completely abandoned. The park opened in true Disney fashion with hundreds of news reporters and their families there to witness it. Looks fun, right? It was initially a huge success, drawing an average of 4,700 guests per day during its first year of operation. But not anymore. Described as an old-fashioned swimming hole with a twist of Huckleberry Finn, the murky lake now lies still, plants have grown over some of the buildings, and alligators have taken full advantage of the lack of humans. Now it lies rusting and abandoned, shuttered after a troubled history that saw three young children die, including one who contracted a rare brain-eating infection from an amoeba found in the water. This is definitely not the happiest place on Earth like Disney was hoping for. <laughs> Swamp Spiders Have you ever seen anything like this? The flooding is bad enough. Spiders emerged from flooded farmland in New Zealand and covered over 100 feet on both sides of this road with their webs. What's the deal? After intense rain and a flooded swamp, millions of money spiders climb to the high ground, and with that, creating a blanket of silk web to balloon their way to safety, floating or flying away on a breeze. And it happens every time the swamp floods in late autumn. There's nowhere else for these arachnids to go. Money spiders are common species of spiders seen all over the world. They're commonly known as sheet weavers. These spiders are believed to bring good luck because their weaving abilities are so good. Stories say they represent financial good fortune, hence their name. And this major weaving they do is very cool natural self-defense. It's called ballooning. Ballooning, sometimes called kiting, is a process by which spiders and some other small invertebrates move through the air by releasing one or more gossamer threads to catch the wind, causing them to become airborne at the mercy of air currents and electric fields. This is primarily used by spiderlings to disperse, however, larger individuals have been observed doing so as well, like during this flooding. <laughs> Where ducks walk on fish There are so many reasons ducks and geese are cool. They can sleep with one eye open because they turn off half their brain, and they're also super social and very cute. Now you're gonna see something pretty strange that makes them even cooler. Ducks walking on fish this water reserve in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania was once a very large swamp. The Shenango River flowed through this ancient swamp and provided sustenance to industries located downstream. The fish love it. The flow of water brings a constant supply of natural food into the area, including plant material, insect larvae, crayfish, and other invertebrates, drawing a large number of fish to this structure as you can see. The ducks love it too. Thousands of oversized carps gather at the edge of the spillway, writhing in thickets, with gaping mouths waiting for these food supplies. But these ducks want some of that food too. They literally walk on top of a carpet of fish. At times, the fish are so thick that mallard ducks, competing for a morsel of food, can effortlessly hop and jump on the fish's back to snatch a slice of bread. Today, this is Pennsylvania's second most popular tourist attraction bringing as many as 500,000 visitors every year to this duck dynasty. Sweden's Car Cemetery Batsnas is a location in Sweden, and one of its most bizarre landmarks is an old car graveyard owned by two brothers. It's an ancient ore field hidden deep in the forest that's famous for at least 1,000 cars that have been hiding behind the trees there since the early 50s. You see, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's also on the Swedish-Norwegian border and just 70 miles from the Norwegian capital, Oslo. The birth of the scrapyard had everything to do with the servicemen, who left their cars behind after the Second World War, switching from driving on the left side of the road to the right in 1967. The two brothers collected all those cars to sell parts on the other side of the border because of that transition. Pretty resourceful, right? To keep their business up and running, they also kept buying more cars. And now the field is surrounded by the remains of all those abandoned Saabs, Volvos, Fords, Sunbeams, Buicks, Volkswagens, Fiats, and various other makes. Unfortunately, the dense forest kept taking over the place, isolating cars as only nature could. And after almost four decades, nature finally won. Those in the scrap metal business say the collection is worth over a hundred grand without taking the parts into consideration. But this Swedish car graveyard is so far from civilization that most of those cars just sit there. Crazy Long Bridges This 120,440 foot feet of solid concrete in Louisiana was constructed over the Manchac Swamp in 1979. 
Measuring 22.8 miles, it occupies a third of Interstate Highway 55 and is the third longest bridge in the world. Located not far from New Orleans, the Manchac Swamp offers admirers of magnificent nature views and enjoyable kayak tours around the beautiful waterways. Plus, this murky swamp is home to countless alligators, turtles, and migratory birds. This bridge remains an engineering feat in an age where the limits of construction are being pushed all over the world. But what makes this bridge and swamp most famous is the fact that it's notoriously haunted. It's believed to be cursed by a woman known as Julia Brown, the so-called voodoo queen. There are different stories of this person. One legend says the locals imprisoned her on charges of witchcraft. And so shortly before she died, Miss Brown cursed all the people in the area and the entire Manchac Swamp. On the day she was buried, a massive hurricane swept through the town, killing over 50 people. And then the previous bridge to this current one, you can see now, suffered a fatal collapse in 1976. Well played, Voodoo Queen. Today, it's quite safe to drive over the bridge despite any legends, but swamp swimmers should be aware of the fully real alligators in the water. Snake Migration How much do you love snakes, frogs, salamanders, and other reptiles and amphibians? This is the place for you. This snake road in southern Illinois in the United States should be your destination during the semi-annual closure of the road. Why? The number of species present along Snake Road and in the greater Shawnee National Forest is impressive. This is where you can explore the natural habitats of these creatures and observe their behavior as they migrate between their winter lairs and summer playgrounds. Snake Road, which lies between the sheer cliff faces that long ago helped contain the Mississippi River, attracts people from all over the world because of it. During the closure, snakes and other critters slowly make their way across the one-lane gravel road often resting in the middle of the lane to bask in the sun or attract a mate. The 56 total species of reptiles and amphibians found in the area, including three species of venomous snakes, make this a go-to destination for nature lovers. But don't expect to see them all at once. The road is in the Trail of Tears forest, and every year, like clockwork, authorities close the road for the snakes to travel from the cliffs to the swamp, and when they return to the cliffs to find dens for overwintering. <laughs> Super Poisonous Newt This rough-skinned newt might look innocent enough, but the newt's red underbelly means major poison, and any hungry predator is going to find out the hard way – by eating it. Newts are a type of salamander, but are differentiated by rougher skin and flat tails. These amphibians spend their adult lives on land, returning to water only to breed. They live in damp environments, finding shelter at the edge of pools, lakes, and streams, and this fragile-looking animal has an unusual defense mechanism. Its skin can produce a powerful neurotoxin. The toxin prevents nerve cells from firing correctly, which ultimately causes paralysis and death. These rough-skinned newts appear to borrow the poison to avoid becoming some snake's lunch. The toxin, known by the initials TTX, stops nerve cells from sending signals that tell muscles to move. When animals swallow the poison in low doses, it can cause a tingling or numbness. Higher amounts cause paralysis and even death. One study estimated as many as 25,000 mice could be killed using the toxin in one newt. But don't worry, the toxin's effects are usually only severe if the newt is eaten by another animal. Although some people have reported skin irritation after touching one. As you can guess, it's not advisable to handle this creature. Alligator Popsicles Alligators are reptiles. These cold-blooded reptiles usually grow from 6 to 11 feet long and live mainly in wetland areas. In America, they can be found in the wild in Louisiana and Florida, where they were once nearly extinct. Now they're thriving. But did you know they have this incredible skill? As you can see, these alligator popsicles might look like they're frozen, but in fact, they're very much alive. As a blast of winter cold gripped the regions they live in, the alligators seem to sense when the water is about to hit the freezing point and they poke their noses into the air at just the right moment. When the water or air temperatures dip too low for them to be active, the reptiles go into a state of brumation, a hibernation-like state, and people in the southern United States come face to face with these popsicle-like alligators when a brutal cold snap hits, literally snorkeling in such cold weather. Alligators are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature fluctuates with the temperatures around them. That's why alligators are often found basking in the sun. 
That's how they stay warm. When freezing temperatures hit, these reptiles swim to the surface to go snorkeling so they can breathe. Easy as that. <laughs> Terrifying demon statues. According to this artist's mission statement, these unusual and frankly scary sculptures reflect our constant and intense dialogue with nature. We'll go with that. Sophie Prestigiacomo's provocative swamp creatures continue to haunt us in the Marshall Reserve in the Gulf of Morbihan in France. They look like figures from a fantasy horror movie. The first appearance of this art show, titled Homo Elgus, dates from 2012. It began with two mysterious creatures and it grew from there. Now look at it. The figures were modeled with the help of mud and algae. The colors, textures, and skin of creatures change with time, as well as the organic landscape in which they call home. They're strange looking figures, half human and half vegetation, emerging from the creepy ecosystem of the swamp. It's gripping stuff indeed. However, this art looks right at home in these swampy waterways. Despite the fact that these botanical creatures have a gothic vibe, the elements of nature and their remoteness have a certain beauty. And even if we don't understand what the artist's intention is initially, we can't help but be drawn to them. Plus, the art changes over time, which only adds to the intrigue that the artist created. <laughs> Legendary Rougarou When traveling down the interstate of the back roads in Louisiana in the southern United States, you'll see lots of beautiful scenery. However, back in the thick, fog-covered swamplands is where people who live there say you'll find a monster the legendary beast called the Rougarou. This beast is essentially described as a bayou-dwelling werewolf. It's a prominent figure in the folklore in this region, described as having a human body with the head of a wolf or dog with glowing red eyes and razor-sharp teeth. Yikes! They say it can change forms between human and animal at will, sometimes making it seem more like a swamp Sasquatch than a werewolf. The history of the Rougarou is centuries old and has many different origins, but the earliest mention of the infamous mythical Louisiana stalker comes from medieval France. The Rougarou legend has been spread for many generations, either directly from French settlers to Louisiana or via the French-Canadian immigrants centuries ago. In the Cajun legends, the creature is said to prowl the swamps and the sugar cane fields and woodlands of the regions. A common blood-sucking legend says that the Rougarou is under a spell and the curse is transferred from person to person when the beast draws human blood. <laughs> Creepy Swamp Lights This phenomenon is quite feared and is mostly seen in rural areas. It consists of an extremely shiny ball of light floating at various heights above the ground. In Argentina and Paraguay, the phenomenon is known as Luz Mala, which means evil light and is one of the most important myths in both countries' folklore. Another explanation refers to the lights as indicators of places where gold or hidden treasures are buried, called money lights or treasure lights, and swampy areas in the United States even have folklore of these ghostly orbs of light. With so much talk about them internationally, what could they possibly mean? Most commonly, they're known as will-o'-wisp lights. In folklore, they're atmospheric lights over bogs, swamps, or marshes. The reason for this, however, varies according to the region. In some cases, sightings of the phantom lights could be attributed to glowing bioluminescent mushrooms and algae that commonly grow in some marshy areas. Under the right conditions, these fungi can produce a bluish light. Other cases of will-o'-wisps can be chalked up to swamp gas. This is caused by the decomposition of plant material in wet, swampy areas. The decomposition process releases methane that spontaneously combusts when it comes into contact with the air. <laughs> Giant Python Invasion Burmese pythons, one of the largest snakes in the world, are best known for the way they catch and eat their food. The snake uses its sharp rearward pointing teeth to seize prey and then coils its body around the animal, squeezing a little tighter with each exhale until the animal suffocates. Stretchy ligaments in their jaws allow them to swallow animals up to five times as wide as their head. That's why it's one of the top five largest snakes in the world, native to a large area of Southeast Asia. So what are they doing in Florida in the southern United States? Over the last number of years, a large number of Burmese pythons can be found in the Florida Everglades. And unfortunately, the non-native Burmese pythons have established a breeding population here and are one of the most concerning invasive species in Everglades National Park as a result. 
These snakes compete with the native wildlife for food, which includes mammals, birds, and other reptiles. Even worse, in their native ranges, these snakes are often found living in suburban and urban areas. And they've been seen adjacent to the metropolitan areas here in Florida, so the risk of human attack is very low, but not impossible. Green-Haired Turtle This strange turtle is one of several species of turtles that breathe underwater using specialized glands in their reproductive organs. It's also sometimes referred to as the bum-breathing turtle due to this. Officially, it's called the Mary River Turtle. But what's up with their funky looks? The turtle is occasionally informally referred to as the green-haired turtle due to the fact that many specimens are covered with glowing strands of algae that resemble hair. A unique feature of the turtle is the tail, which can measure almost two-thirds of its length. Plus, proportionately, the Mary River turtle has the smallest head and largest hind feet of all the species, which contributes to its distinction of being the fastest swimmer. The Mary River turtle is a large freshwater turtle endemic to the Mary River in Queensland, Australia. Remarkably, this turtle was kept as a pet in Australia for more than 20 years before its formal description as a new species. This turtle is highly distinctive, both morphologically and evolutionarily. The only species in its genus, the Mary River turtle, diverged from all other living species around 40 million years ago. However, this species was only described by scientists in 1994. It's quite a turtle indeed. It doesn't get any more stranger than this, these strange yet wonderful things in swamps, but these videos are the very reason that they're some of the most fascinating ecosystems in the world. Like and subscribe if you do and share with your friends.